Good morning guys, so I've just gotten up and I am currently on my laptop checking my uni emails and today is a very exciting day because we are going for a lesson. So this will be the first lesson that Murphy and I have done um, ever. So this is Murphy's first outing in about five years. So I'm not sure how it's going to go. Crossing my fingers that it will go okay. She can get a little bit anxious. So we'll see how she goes. I'm so excited to actually show her off to somebody. That sounds really stupid, but I am. And um really hope that she goes goes well so I'm going to have a coffee and wake up and then hopefully I will have time to vlog I seem to just not vlog when I get a little bit stressed so hopefully I give myself enough time because I always am late so hopefully we've got enough time for me to actually sit down and talk to you guys so I will do my best good morning everybody where are we off to mother a lesson we are off to go to Murphy's first lesson. Well, I was going to say ever, but ever with me. <laughs> so it's probably her first outing in about five years. Yep. First proper outing in about five years. So not sure how it's going to go. So crossing our fingers for just some form of relaxation. <laughs> so it should be good. So we're going to Waironga. I think it will be in the indoor. Hopefully the rain holds off though. So it's we'll very exciting been looking forward to this day for a long time obviously covid has delayed this a lot which actually hasn't been too bad has it mum because we've been able to focus on getting our relationship stronger and just working on her strength and all the things that let's go bug in my eye really <laughs> okay so take two bug is out of mum's eye <laughs> So we are on our way. A little bit of drama just to add to the day is that we don't know if Murphy is going to fit in the float. So I don't know if I'll film it because I feel like our stress levels are maybe going to be a bit high. But if she doesn't fit, we're not going. So I guess if she doesn't fit, you won't see this footage because <laughs> it won't be a video. <laughs> if, if she doesn't fit, can you just chuck Michael on the float and use your saddle? And yes. Good. Okay. If she doesn't fit, I'm taking Marco. <laughs> so Murphy is 17'2", we'll say. Um, conservatively. Conservatively. She may be bigger. But she's also quite long. So she is a 7 foot in normal rugs. But I feel like in horsewear, she's actually a 7'3". So for all my internationals, I may put a little size converter chart there. So you know what I'm actually talking about. But she's rather huge. Marco only just fits in our float because he's seven, just under 17.1. And but he's short. Company. But he's short, so he only just fits. So there is seriously a possibility that she won't go on. So fingers crossed for that. We're going to the paddock now. We've picked up the float because the horses are at a different property, letting their normal paddocks rest for the moment. Thankfully, so, we're getting a new float in about a month. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait for that to actually happen. So we will go get her on. I'll try and film. Who knows? I think we've got enough time for me to film. I'll set up something. Hopefully she goes on and I guess I will see you again when we've got a horse on the float. Stay tuned for which one it is. Will it be a bay or the ranger? See? Hi, Murphy. Oh my God, it's so wet, guys. We had an absolute crap load of rain the night before last and I think it did rain most of yesterday. Hey gorgeous girl. So it is so wet here. Here you go. You're all snug though, aren't you? You're all snug. Oh god guys, it's so wet. What the hell? There's a um, underground spring under this paddock. Oh my god. Poor Murphy. Murphy hates it. She is so... Uh, oh. <gasps> no. Oh, great. Oh, that water went into my gumboot. That's just 
awesome. Someone is a little bit anxious. Good girl. We are stressed, but we are on. Good girl, Mac. Good girl. Yeah, see, she's not too stressed to not eat, though. <laughs> Travelled really, really well. After a bit of a look, she walked straight onto the float. She's just having a little bit of a snort and a look around now. And she's feeling every inch of her 17 two hands. We were hoping that the rain was going to hold off for us, but it's just starting to shower again. Like we needed more water. Well, Murphy is being a lot better than expected. <laughs> she was a little bit nervous, but apparently the way to her heart is hay, or just food of any kind. Hey, Murph. Good girl. Hate it when that happens. the F word. <laughs> so this is the start of our lesson. Faye is just uh, having a look at us, seeing uh, where we're at and what we're going to work on. So pretty much straight away, um, I think I told her because we were having uh, this problem at home, but she <laughs> sees that she's definitely uh, doing a bit of head tilting and she likes to curl her neck around uh, on the left rein, so this rein. So um. She really uh, curls her neck around and doesn't bend through the body and, and over bends through the neck. So um, she's uh, quite wobbly, you can see uh, at this stage. So you need to remember that Murph has been only in work for a few months here. I think this is June um, at the moment. So we've had her in work for a few months and only like a decent amount of work for like a, probably a month or two. 
So, um, because she's been out for four and a half to five years, um, she's really not that strong. So, um, the look of her is a little bit deceptive. She does look like a big, strong mare, but, um, she's actually quite weak. So, you can hear Faye praising me there as she's getting me to turn Murph's shoulders, um, and keeping her into my outside rein, just to stop her from, uh, curling around and losing the shoulders around the corners. Throughout this whole lesson, we've really tried to um, get Murph to come back to me. So she's got huge movement, walk, try and canter, they're all huge. And she's just not strong enough at the moment to hold that. So you can see there that she was quite inconsistent in her frame. So she's really just not um, strong enough to hold herself at the moment. So I'm losing her quarters there. She's just a little bit um, confused about what I'm asking her to do. So I'm asking her to move her shoulders over and keeping her into my um, outside rein. So there's obviously um, a little bit of tension as well um, that's causing her to be a little bit wobbly at this stage. So this is the start of our lesson. We've only just started trotting. And even though she didn't feel tense to me, um, she's quite different from Archie. So Archie would get very tense and very hot and just want to run. Whereas uh, looking back now, I can see that her tension comes out in a little bit of just inconsistencies with her contact. And she's quite wobbly, as you can see. So she does improve um, throughout the lesson here. So Faze just asked me to stretch here. She walks there, which is fine. And she's trying to listen to my half halts. You can see that she's a little behind the vertical here, um, which was a bit of a problem when we first started. It's all just strength, really. So she starts to poke out her nose a little bit more and stretch over the back here. And so we give her a walk just because we did get a few nice steps. Still obviously nowhere near perfect, but little steps with her at the moment. Yeah, I think so I this is a little bit further on in the lesson and she's really starting to understand um, what I mean by getting her to move her shoulders over. She's a smart girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She then she was straight, wasn't she? Yeah. So much straighter. Sorry? So much straighter. Yeah. 
so she's looking quite nice here. She still does a little bit of head tilting every now and then, but you can see that her frame is so much better. She, she started to relax into the lesson a little bit from uh, this point um, onwards, so she's a little bit more what she was like at home. So some of it's definitely relaxation, but honestly, just really focusing on getting her to uh, stay into my outside rein and turn from the shoulders was such a huge help. It was a little bit ugly for a little while, which I'm often hesitant to do at home. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, and if it's not going to look nice, I tend to shy away from it. So it's great to have a lesson where Faye just said it was going to be a little bit ugly for a while. Um, just to get Murph to understand what I meant uh, by turning the shoulders and keeping her into the outside. This is her stronger rein, which is a little bit odd for horses as they, I think they say that most horses are actually left-handed, but she seemed to be stronger on her right rein, um, especially in the first few months of work. So you can see that she's not so wobbly and she's much straighter on this rein. So I'm really happy with how she's working here. So Faye's still getting me to half halt. She doesn't want me to do her big trot. She just wants to keep her in a nice even rhythm, which I think we're getting out to listen to her footfalls. <laughs> Having a look at mum. But her rhythm is just so much better now from the start of the lesson. You can see she's reminding me with my half halts again. So, um, I had actually been riding Murph quite forward and into the contact because I wanted her to push more from behind. But Faye actually got me to do the opposite. So you can hear her constantly reminding me to bring her back, which is just a little bit um, counterintuitive from what I was doing. But you can see that she just really needed to come back and find her own rhythm. Just while she wasn't strong. That's another one of my pet peeves, is that I definitely give too much of the rain when I pet. So just working on her serpentines here and uh, making sure that she doesn't lose her shoulders throughout our changes of rain. Faye just commenting on the difference already, which I'm sure you'll be able to see. She's just so much better from the start of the lesson. So you can see here, I don't half halt quite enough and she gets um, a little bit muddled again. So she tries to go on the forehand and she gets a little bit um, unbalanced. And I did forget in that corner as well, as you can see. So she's starting to get a little bit quick again and she's just lost her balance. And you can hear Faye telling me to rebalance. So Murph's getting a little bit confused now. You can see she's wanting to dive down um, and she's just forgotten now that we've gone back onto her uh, weaker rein. So she's wanting to curl her neck and I'm asking her to move her shoulders but she's also bringing her quarters in as well. So Faye calls it the wobbles. <laughs> So 
So these loops are really good for Murph. I still use them to this day in our warm up. They really help her bend through the body. You can see her give there in the trot just for a few strides as well. You can see there she I let go of my reins and she started to curl again. Getting a little wobbly there. So Faye's just pointing out that um, she did get a little wobbly along that long side and now she's fussing with her head. But um, she's just getting a little long and um, she's lost her balance um, just by getting a little bit onto the forehand. So it's just about me feeling when she's actually on the forehand and not, I think that she's stretching sometimes and really she's not. And so she's losing her balance there. So Faye's trying to get me to hold her up a little bit more. And so that's better now. So that's nice there. After she had her little head toss, we had a few nice steps. was a super girl. <laughs> I'm sure he would. Juicy, juicy green grass, Miff. She becomes a velociraptor when she's a bit uncertain. Work hard and this is what you get for thanks. Cold shower. This love's a hard This love's a hard to expect after are you for real i've come over this side so that she would face her head there's the pretty girl she was awesome 
so awesome. Just working on her, what rain is it, mum? Her left rain, um, stopping her from curling her neck around and dropping out through the shoulder, and she was just so amazing. Honestly, what do I say to you if I don't get bucked off? Yeah. And she fits on the float, it was a win. And I guess that makes it an extra win because she was awesome, as you will have seen. You already would have seen how good she was. Uh, so excited for this horse. So excited. She is a gem. Not sure how she's mine. <laughs> hey, you proud? Proud of yourself? <laughs> a nice bucket of mayonnaise. <laughs> Yum. I promise it's not me. Don't get a buff head in there. She just called you a buff head. After all you've done, I called you a buff head. Hey guys, so I am back home. I am super wrapped with Murph. She was awesome. So really worked on she on her left rein. She does kind of drop out through her shoulder a little bit, which I was having a little bit of trouble with. So really focusing on bending her to the outside and getting her to move off my outside leg and moving her um, outside shoulder across. And she just felt so much better in my hand. All that aside, I was just hoping that we were going to have a nice, relatively calm um, lesson. She was awesome. She got off the float, had a look around, and then it was like she'd been doing it her whole life. So for the first time um, out in five years, I am pretty stoked with that. Um, cannot wait for our next one. Mum is having a lesson Saturday, so that will probably be the next video that you guys see. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.